Okay, so third time's a chime. Welcome to the grass block. I'm your host Nexus, and I'm going to be taking a little time out from my usual tutorial system to pretty much just show off something that I've built in Minecraft on our test world. So, this pretty much here is the back to an oscilloscope. At the moment it's overclocked uh, on a 5 clock system that I normally have it at 13 for a straight 1 hertz signal. So, for anyone that doesn't know what an oscilloscope is, it basically tests an input signal and every time a clock signal also hits, that input signal is output to the first layer on the screen. So, this layer here. Well, column, not layer. And then the next clock signal, that's moved across and then this layer is tested. Keep on saying layer. This column is tested again. The torch on the top means the input is high, the torch on the bottom means the input is off or low. So, I'll just slow down this clock system in order to give you a better look at it. Because when it's all blinking away, it's a bit difficult to read. So, I'll leave that there. And here we go. So, this is my input signal. You can pretty much just ignore this with the time being as it, as it has nothing to do with the circuit. Here you just attach an external circuit that you wanted to test. So, the entire circuit, this entire thing, is based around modules, and the main module in this circuit is a flip-flop. Now what this does is it tests, and whenever it gets a clock signal here, it tests this input. Now it only tests the input when this clock signal has just turned on. If it's left on, nothing will happen. But if it, as soon as it switches from the off to one position, it tests this. Now, if this is high, this also outputs high. Sorry, electronics. If this is on, this also outputs on. If this is off, it outputs off. Now, if we follow this output round, we have one, one repeater there, and another repeater here. Now, this creates a slight delay. Meaning, whatever's output there, it has about half a second for its output here. Now, if I give these all the clock signals simultaneously, it means this can test a new input while this tests the old output. So, it basically means it can pass the signal along. Now, I've done this five times. So, it means this one signal, after five clock cycles, which I think is five seconds on the, on the 13 clock that I normally have will pass from that first flip-flop all the way to this end flip-flop. At which point the end signal is then just discarded. Oh, FPS flags. I'll have to check out the cooling on my computer. So I'll overclock this up to five hertz and um, up to not five hertz, a uh, five clock. Just to show you while it's all running away running away. It's fairly nice to look at at night. Um, you should be able to build this circuit after my next tutorial, because I'm going to be focusing on flip-flops anyway, and how to build a couple different types. Just climb up to my screen. At one point, the middle section of the screen was activated, but with some signals it would result in the entire screen being lit up, so I'll turn them back off again. For now, those that middle display is just for show. As you can see, I've got like redstone there. Or to turn it off, I just had an extra thing connected up to this block, each line. This screen um, actually works in a kind of weird way. I have it inverted here, and then repeated here along the bottom, and then it gets put onto the bottom. So if that if this input is low, that's high, which means that's high there, and then it gets inverted once more here, which turns it back to low. It sounds a bit odd, but it works, so I just left it as is. But thanks to Zenul, I learnt about vertical transmission. So above this repeater, there's always a torch just stood on top of the block. I decided to use this and send the signal up there. Now this is inverted once, inverted twice, so the raw signal from here is actually pumped up there. But of course, my obsession with inverters, it's inverted again. So if that's high, it gets inverted there to low, repeated low to high, well no, repeated low, transmitted up here, these things always confuse me, and then turned back to high. 
I have an obsession with inverters and repeaters. Something about the 15 block limit just... Uh, can't stand it. That's pretty much the entire circuit. If anyone wants this world, just send an email to thegrassblock at gmail.com and I'll reply with a save file. I'm not going to upload it in the comments because you get the usual people just stealing ideas, claiming as their own, so on and so forth. Um, another one of my projects. And that's pretty much it. This has been The Grass Block and I've been Nixus, still am. And thank you for watching.